You know, whenever a new conference kicks around, I, I like it because uh, I have Kinito Hanson as my friend. Because he'll tell me where everybody goes, where everybody went, who the new imports are. It's another getting to know you conference, at least for the early parts. And it's interesting to find out who the new imports are. We'll talk about that in a short while. But some changes uh, were made, especially for San Miguel. They've added... Parang kulang sila ng guardia, no? Nagtagtag pa ng dalawang guardia, no? And uh, they already have uh, some changes. They have Kabagnot and Yo with them already. Well, they're looking to get younger, Seth. Oh, no? I guess so. Alex Kabagnot is 27 years old. Joseph Yo is 26 years old. It's a changing of the guard for us. They're anticipating, of course, the impending retirement of Olsen Resela. But Kabagnot and Yo give San Miguel a lot of depth sa kanilang guard position. And I have a feeling that Coach Shot Duncan Sen wants that depth because he wants to apply the pressure in the backcourt. And for that, you need a deep guard court. You need a lot of fresh legs. Absolutely. And sometimes some familiar faces return, like in the case of Gabe Freeman, uh, who just played recently in the ABL. He was also our best import in the last staging of this conference. He didn't arrive on the first day of the conference, remember. I remember Jonas Villanueva was the best player in that game. When they had no import, they still defeated their opponent. But he's quite a player. Well, he certainly is quite a player. At the, he's a proven import. Because alam na natin, no, sabi mo nga kanina, that he was the best import in the last year's conference. Defending champion of San Miguel in this conference, Gabe Freeman is back. He wants to show, he wants to prove that he deserves this second lease on life with San Miguel. He wants another championship. And now it's always interesting when you have a new face and uh, gano'n ka pa lang notes. <laughs> notes mo today. Marami rin ito. The player is named Kina Young. Okay, start. Well, for Kina Young, he's a player who has progressed every year in his three years with Brigham Young University. This is a school that produced Danny Age, Krasimir uh. Chosic, and uh, you see what uh, what he has here in terms of physical attributes. He's 6'5", 205 pounds. A player who was once a high school classmate of Kendrick Perkins, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Uh, what we know about uh, Kina Young is that he is basically an inside player. In his three years with Brigham Young University, he only took four three-point shots. And made... He missed them all. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I am betting that he will learn how to shoot the three-point shot. And Magumar John says, Baka naman talaga inside. Be maniwala ka na kay Kinito, <laughs> Kinito Hansen. And now another movement is Juan J. Buenofe. Um, I saw him warming up earlier. And, um, you know, I never realized how tall he was and how hard he is probably to defend, especially with that arsenal of weapons he has. Well, he's a tough guy. And uh, I think he's blossoming blossoming into one of uh, Air 21's main men. In fact, uh, when he was blossoming last conference, Gary, David all of a sudden became expendable. And David uh, was later on traded to Coca-Cola. And talking about those trades and a lot of personal changes, so Air 21, which was known as Burger King last conference, this is a team in transition. Oh, yeah. And they're not going to a player. Of course, they now have Mike Cortez, the galley San Miguel. San Miguel has Arvin Santos, yes. the galley from this team. So a lot of these uh, players have moved back and forth between these two teams. You see a lot of familiarity okay. in the way these two teams play. Alam niyo, graduation na, pero napakasipag ko nito. Gumawa pa rin ng dean's list. Umpisa, nag-graduate na ngayon iba. Air 21 muna tayo. Okay, pag-usapan natin ng Air 21, is the Express on track. You remember, of course, in the last uh, Philippine Cup, they only lasted one game in the wildcard playoffs. Tinalo sila ng Coca-Cola. Eliminated on uh, Burger King, now known as Air 21. They need to deny Gabe Freeman's touches. You know that he demands the basketball. And he will invite the defense. And he doesn't mind that. He's a player who can do it all. It's important that the Express gets physical. Because that was a trademark of Yang Giao's teams of before. Yes. Didn't happen last conference when they were only number nine in defense. Now they've got to get more physical in defense. Do they have the manpower to do it? They're hoping so. Outside artillery, very important. I call that collateral offense because if Kina Young does not play the outside, you need the Ren Ren Litualo and the other outside gunners to be on track. Now shifting our attention to the other side of the floor and um, as we focus in on San Miguel Beer. Well, for San Miguel, he's changing up the guard, no? Sika Bagnot, you see him there in your screens. Joseph Yo, a slasher. Both these players give a different look, different dimension to the guard play of San Miguel. And they need to find out who's in charge. Because sa dami naman guardian ng San Miguel, who's going to be in charge? Is it Kabaglot? Is it Jonas Villanueva? Is it Olsen Vasella? Whatever, Coach Shaw Tankin said, must make that decision. And the roles have to be clearly defined so that there is no confusion on the court among the players. 
completely to pound it inside. What a natural center on Air 21. But hey, you take a look at San Miguel. They've got a lot of big guys. Jay Washington has developed a post game. You've got Nick Denise is also developing a post game. And right there, he's starting. You also have Dorian Peña. So three big guys who can pound it inside. And pressure from the outset. Sabi ko kanina, no? Sa dami ng mga guardia ng San Miguel, they can now afford to deploy a lot of guards to play pressure defense. Make it difficult for the Air 21 ball carriers to cross that timeline and they can afford it because they have so many guards. They need to pressure from the outset. San Miguel, of course, unable to move over into um, the finals. Purefoods uh, taking care of them in that particular series. Last conference, as we meet the starting lineup of Air 21, they're back to their old name, actually. And Mike Cortez now seeing his former uh, teammates in a different uniform as you take a look at the starting lineups for both clubs. Well, interesting that uh, Ronnie Matias is also going to be starting for 8 to 1 21. He is also a blossoming star for this franchise. Bo Belga, a big guy, he's going to be teaming with uh, Kina Young to give them uh, a lot of power underneath the boards. Now, you know, the thing about Mike Cortez is that he's more of a deliberate half court set playmaker. He's not really a run and gun type. But you know that uh, Burger King, or you know now known as Air 21, last conference was number one in fast break points. So you wonder, magbabago ba ang sistema ng opensa ni Coach Yengia with Mike Cortez now calling the shots at point guard. As he tries this from 15 feet, he is immediately fouled and will visit the line. By the way, the referees are no Guevara as well as Barbacena. What's the feeling like? No, nah, well, that's part of the tr uh, the business, I, actually. Then, what's in the minds of the players when they are up against the former team? Pag maganda hiwala yan, hindi pa siguro galit, ano? Pag masama hiwala yan, ay gusto talaga manalo ng player na na-trade, ano? I think it's something to prove it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for Mike Cortez, for instance, uh, he didn't have a particularly strong semifinal series to Philippine Cup. San Miguel was up 2-1 against Pure Foods, and then they lost the last three games, yeah. and they were eliminated. And, you know, Mike Cortez took a lot of flack for that loss, and uh, he found himself traded. So maybe he's got something to prove. Now, you know, with the entry of imports here in this conference, as Nick Benizi hits a three-pointer, you also want to find out who among the, play the, the local players will give up playing time. And for San Miguel, ito, kitang kita natin, no? You've got a Gabe Freeman who's very comfortable playing the three position. Ang mawawala ng, ng oras dito, walang iba kundi si Arvin Santos. And he's a quality player, but he's got to sit a lot of minutes unless Coach Shot and Kinsen device yeah. de designs a system where they can play together. Okay, like Santos could move to the number two position uh, or even... Uh Alternate at that position. That led something uh, to look forward to. In the meantime, here's Villanueva. Drives hard. No, that won't bite. And the rebound controlled cleanly by Air 21. Ball game at three apiece. Corner shot. Yes. You see, that's happening at the applause of superstar. And that's Ron Jamie. When I no hesitation in taking that outside shot. You know what's happening, I think, Anita, about the outside artillery. I call that the collateral offense. If Kina Young concentrates on playing inside, he's got to have help from the outside gunners to make it easier for him to operate in Salo. And maybe that's why, you know, well, usually they, uh, like, oh, like this one, he's hot. That's back-to-back threes now coming from Buena Fe. Oh, masyado mainit ang umpisa ng Air 21. Uh, they're delivering, delivering, delivering here in the early goings. Two minutes have gone by. Nine to three is the count. It's a full ceasefire back in a moment. And you're back with us here on Solar TV. Magu Marjan on the floor of the historic Big Dome. Well, we are just barely two minutes into this basketball game and Air 21 already with a nine to three lead over to San Miguel Beerman.